Hey, welcome back. When you have a website with many sections and you've got some of them fit to screen, VH100 say, if you are now scrolling like this, this is section one and this is section two down here, we're getting 50% of each and it's now breaking up what I had visualized for you, the client or the businesses for how I want it to look. There is a feature in Elemental called Scroll Snap, which can completely transform how you look at this. And we're gonna do that right now. Now, the first thing you need to do is go over to your WordPress, go to Elemental, go to Settings, go to Experiments, scroll down and go to Scroll Snap and make sure you activate that. If you do not activate it, you will not see the feature present. So you could be searching everywhere going, well, where is it? You've got to activate it first, okay? When you've done that, you then go over to your website. And I would recommend that you could do this right at the end or right at the start. It doesn't really matter. So it's not one of those things that you're going to regret not doing earlier. So you can do it right at the end. What you need to do is go to your page settings, okay? Which is down here, the cog, by the way. You can't miss it go to advance and then you will see scroll snap. Now, before I go there, there's a few things you might wanna take into account. If you have a web page where your sections have lots of varied minimum heights, that's okay, all right? Because what will now happen is that each time the scroll snap works, technically what it's gonna do is move to the next section in effect. If however, though, you've got lots of mini sections, it could become a little bit off-putting in my opinion. So let's say you've got a page and you've got a section here, section here, and a section here. Every time you scroll, it's gonna go like this, duh, 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 like a bit of a jarry effect. So if your page has not been set to be section by section, what do I mean by that? This section, when you go to the layout, the minimum height is VH100. See that there, VH100. That means the full height of the screen whether you're on desktop, mobile, tablet, whatever. I don't use fit to screen. I use the minimum height. I have found minimum height 100 VH works better than fit to screen. Anyway, you go to settings, you go to advanced, you go to scroll snap and you activate it. Now this is where it's gonna ask you what you wanna do. So when it snaps, do you want every section to go to the top, the center or the bottom? It makes perfect sense here because all of my sections are VH100 to go to the top. Now, scrolls padding is where you wanna add a bit of offset. So if I was to go with something like that 90, that now means that when it scrolls, there's gonna be 90 padding, okay? I actually prefer it without that. Let's preview it. I scroll a little bit, section two. I scroll a little bit, I did it too fast. I scroll a little bit, section three. I scroll a little bit section four. So if you do scroll quite quick, it does kind of kind of race ahead of you. So don't scroll over scroll. But look, if I scroll up a little bit of three, scroll up a little bit two, and then look back up to one. So let me now test this out to see what happens if I go for always. Again, because it's VH100, it shouldn't really be an issue for us. So look, it's, this is again, because it's VH100, it's not really making a difference. But if I just do little subtle movements of my mouse, it now goes up and down. And one thing I do want to clarify here is if I pick up the scroll bar on the side and I try to move a little bit, I can still do that. So even though it is scroll to snap, you can actually maneuver and move up and down. Let me just put this back onto uh, normal. So look, again on the normal, if I scroll up and down, you can actually do this. So you haven't prevented the user from doing this. However, most of us, if you've got a mouse, with a button or a scroll bar, when you do this now, it will scroll to that section. You scroll again, it's kind of doing that. You are probably watching this and saying, but what if you're really quick with your mouse? Like, look, right now, if I do that, it, it, it does shoot the mark quite a bit. But if you're careful with your scroll, and users will get used to this, it is pretty neat way to move up and down the page. I think scroll snap is amazing and fantastic especially for when you have full height sections. I think it's a great way to control what you see. So now they are gonna see this section as nature intended. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you soon.